Hello, welcome back to What's Up with Prophecy Today. Today we'll be looking at a couple of topics, and we'll be looking at asteroids, the Book of Life, the fourth seal on the Book of Life, and finally, the trumpet judgments. Now, before we start looking at the material I've gathered, I want you to remember the two prophecy rules that I recommend we use for determining if a word is symbolic or real. So words in prophecy should first be examined to see if they are real and before assuming that they're symbolic. So if you look at a word in the, the sentence structure, and if you determine, yeah, that's probably real, that could be real, then you should assume that word is real. But if you look at the word and you determine that that word is not real and it couldn't be real, for example, in Revelation 12, there's a dragon with seven heads. Now that dragon with seven heads has never existed in real life. You've never seen a picture of one. So we can be assured that that word is symbolic. So when we find a symbolic word in prophecy, we need to find the relevant Bible text that explains it. We just can't make up some uh, definition for it out of our head. We have to use the Bible to determine what that symbolic name really means. Okay, now let's take a look at this concept of speed. And this is gonna tie in with our study today. So let's consider speed. Well, here's a first example of speed. It's a baseball pitcher. Now a baseball pitcher can throw the ball pretty fast. And when he throws a fastball, he can get it up over 105 miles per hour. That's pretty fast, isn't it? That would be tough to hit. Okay, another example of speed would be a race car. Now cars today can be very, very powerful. They can have five or 600 horsepower and they can have a very high top end speed. Having a top end speed of 160 miles per hour or even over that is not unusual for the very top end sports cars that you can buy today. Of course, you can't drive those on the normal streets unless you live in some European countries where portions of their highways have unlimited speed. Now, have, do you recall back in the, oh, probably the 50s and the 60s, this kind of dates me, I know, but there was a program on TV of, of Superman. And the uh, lead into that program was that he could fly faster than a speeding bullet. Well, how fast does a bullet go? Well, if you take a typical revolver today, this would be like a nine millimeter revolver and you measure the speed of the bullet exiting that revolver, it would be going around 1,800 miles per hour. And that's pretty fast, isn't it? 1,800 miles per hour. And the last example I have here is the SR-17 Blackbird airplane. This was uh, d designed in Skunk Works in California years ago, and it still holds the records for the fastest uh, airplane that uh, that travels uh, in, by jet engine, of course. And it uh, can, and it set records, and I believe the record that it set was 2,193 miles per hour. It actually can go faster than that, but the metal that the plane is made of will start to melt. And uh, so that's not a, they don't really push it any faster than that, but they do have power to go faster than that. Well, here are four different things. Baseball pitcher, race car, a bullet, and the SR-17. They're all going pretty fast, aren't they? Well, I got to inform you that last Sunday, something went past the Earth that was going much, much faster than that. The biggest, the biggest asteroid to visit Earth in 2021 just zoomed past our planet. It was moving at 77,000 miles per hour or 124,000 kilometers per hour. And that was really moving. The asteroid is called F032 
and it was hurling through space at about 77 miles per hour, but it passed Earth at a safe range of 1.25 million miles away, according to NASA. And they claim that it won't come back as close to the Earth again until 2052. So this asteroid was pretty big. Uh, it was estimated to be 2,230 feet uh, long, I guess. And it, uh, they claim, NASA claimed that it did not pose any impact or, uh, risk to the Earth. But you know, if that had hit the Earth, it would have been a monster crash. I, I don't know what it would have done, but it would have been a, a real doozy. Now here's a meteor crater. Some of you may have had the opportunity to visit this. It's out in New Mexico, and it measures almost one mile across. And it's 2.4 miles in its circumference and more than 550 feet deep and it is claimed to be the world's best preserved meteor impact site. Now, there are many other meteor impact sites around the world, but they're not in a, a dry desert like this. So they have the weather uh, that deteriorates them and erodes the, the clear outline of the meteor impact. But this one is really dramatic. So this uh, meteor impact occurred many uh, years and years ago. We don't know exactly when it occurred, but they estimate today that it was traveling at 29,000 miles per hour. So it was going, they estimated that it was going slower than the meteorite or the meteor that just went by Earth at 77,000 miles. So the question I have to you, does the Bible mention asteroids? I wonder, does the Bible mention asteroids? Well, yes and no. And let me explain. Well, John the Revelator saw a giant mountain coming out of the sky and it was all ablaze. And it, actually he sees two of them. One of them he saw hit the uh, sea, the, the ocean, and the other one hit a landmass. So John the Revelator saw two of these. Let's take a look at the Bible text for these. You can turn to your Bible if you want with me. Okay, let's take a, take a look at Revelation 6 verses 7 and 8. When the Lamb, that's Jesus, opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come, I looked, and there before me was a pale horse. Its rider was called Death and Hades, and Hades really means the grave. And that was followed close behind him. And they, that's the rider and the horse, was given power over a fourth of the earth. That's 25% of the earth. So what was the rider and the horse given power over? They were, he, they were given power to kill by sword, famine, and plague and by wild beasts of the earth. So this, when this fourth seal was open, 25% of the earth, the people on earth, will be killed. Let's, let's take a look at Revelation 8, verses 8 and 9 now. And this is the trumpet judgments. Now I'm just going to read one of them here for the sake of time. So this is the second angel. So the, actually the second and the third angel, uh, both are similar in many regards. The second angel sounded his trumpet and something like a huge mountain, and that's really an asteroid, all ablaze was thrown into the sea. A third of the sea turned to blood, a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. So John the Revelator, of course, this was uh, just after, you know, Jesus was crucified and John the Revelator was uh, imprisoned on the Isle of Patmos, and he was put into uh, in, uh, into a vision. God put him into a vision, and he saw this in the vision. So back in those days, they didn't know anything about asteroids or coming and hitting the earth. So what he saw was a big lump of stone, you might say. 
he calls it a mountain. Today, we are more knowledgeable on these things, and it, we would call it an asteroid. So he saw an asteroid hit the Earth, and he also saw one hit the sea. So there, were, there are two asteroids that are uh, covered in Revelation chapter 8. So 25% of the Earth will be killed by these two asteroid impacts, plus some other things that happen with the first and the fourth trumpet. So we can see that even though this asteroid, <clears throat> they just went by us on Sunday, missed us, God will in the future release his wrath on Earth by allowing two asteroids to hit Earth and there will be death and destruction that will result from that. Well, this is pretty grim news, isn't it? Well, we have to look at all the prophecies together to see what God is up to here. So what have we learned today? Well, first thing is that we need to follow prophecy rules when trying to understand a prophecy. Sometimes a fiery mountain can be understood better in today's times as an asteroid, for example. Number two, when the fourth seal on the Book of Life uh, opens, Jesus will release the trumpet judgment onto earth, killing 25% of the population. And number three, the opening of the fourth seal releases the seven trumpet judgments. Two separate asteroids, the second and third trumpet, will impact the earth, killing 25% of the population. Well, this is just a short study today and a few topics in prophecy. So I hope you got a blessing from it and you learned something from it. Thanks for watching. God bless.